Now let's take up questions from exercise 8. The first question, it says the complement of 72 degree 40 minutes, right? Now, complementary angles are those angles, the sum of which is 90 degree. So if, are, if the question says complement of complement of 72 degree 40 minutes it must be equal to 90 degree minus 72 72 degree 40 minutes right now in every degree there are 60 minutes so now let's see 90 minus 72 it will be 18 degree now 18 degree minus 40 minute it would be 17 degree and 1 degree minus 17 degree plus 1 degree minus 40 minutes all right so 90 minus 72 is 18 18 can be written as 17 plus 1 now 1 minus now 1 degree is 60 minutes so it is 17 degree plus 60 minutes minus 40 minutes we need to know that 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes all right so 60 minutes minus 40 minutes would be equal to 20 minutes so the answer is 17 degree 20 minutes that's the answer of this question question number two supplement of 154 degree 30 minute right so uh, those angles the sum of which is 180 degree are called supplement so straight away supplement supplement of 154 degree 30 minute is straight away equal to 180 degree minus 154 degree 30 minutes all right now 180 minus 154 it would be equal to 26 degree minus 30 minutes so we can write 26 as 25 degree as we did in the previous question 25 degree plus 1 degree minus 30 minutes so it is equal to 25 degree plus 1 minute is 60 seconds minus 30 seconds so it is 25 degree and 30 seconds okay so this is the answer of this question let's take up the next question third question it says two straight lines a b and c d cut each other at o and then angle b o d is 63 degrees so let me put it this way uh, it is let's say a b and c d so let's say it is a b and c d so the angle b o d that is this one is given 63 degree angle b o d is 63 degree this is point o so angle bod is 63 degree then the angle boc as you can see angle boc is this one as you can see angle bod plus angle boc must be equal to 180 degree because they are the angles on the same line and the total sum of the angles on the same line should be 180 degree that's also called linear pair of angles so they are supplementary now angle bod is 63 degree so 63 degree plus angle BOC that is equal to 180 degree. So that means angle BOC should be equal to 180 degree minus 63 degree. So the answer should be uh, 117 degree. All right. It is 117 degree. Right. Now question number four. It says if two angles are complementary of each other, that means the angle should be like this a plus b should be equal to 90 degree that means each one of them should be less than 90 degree so a should be less than 90 degree b should be less than 90 degree now the angles less than 90 degree are called acute angles so each angle is an acute angle all right so the answer of the question is acute angle okay so whichever option has acute angle that will be the answer now let's take up the next question question number five as you can see this is the diagram all right now a b is parallel to c d okay angle a b o angle a b o that is given 40 degree and angle c d o that is 30 degree right now the question is angle if angle d o b is x degree then the value of x is how much all right so what we have done here is we have drawn e f parallel to either a b or c d the question already is given question already is given that in the question is already given that a b is parallel to c d we have taken e f to be parallel to a b and c d 
Now, what will happen from there? We have something called alternate uh, 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 angles, right? So this angle is 40 degree. If we have taken AB and EF to be parallel, then angle BOE should BOF. BOF is is equal to angle BOF should be equal to angle uh, ABO. All right, that is equal to 40 degree. And where does it come from? It comes from alternate angles. Right? Why alternate angles? Because AB is parallel to EF. Okay, so this angle is 40 degree. Now, the next thing is uh, you can see angle uh, FOD should be equal to FOD should be equal to angle CBO, which is equal to 30 degree. This also is from alternate angles. All right. Now alternate angles from uh, the two lines which are parallel. Which one? It is CD parallel to EF. Okay. Now the question was asking. Question was asking. This is continued question number five. The question is asking angle DOB. Now look at the diagram. Angle DOB is this one. So this is 30 degree that we already have. Now angle DOB is this one. DOB that is this whole angle now that is equal to angle DOF plus angle BOF which is 30 degree plus 40 degree which is equal to 70 degree all right so the value of X is 70 degree that is the question asking all right now let's take the next question question number six it says how many degrees are there in an angle which equals to one fifth of its supplement. Let's say the angle is X. So its supplement would be equal to 180 degree minus X. And the question says that angle is equal to one fifth of the supplement. So this is the equation that we get. Okay. So the angle should be equal to one fifth of the supplement. All right. Now cross multiply, you will get 5x is equal to 180 degree minus x. So we will have 6x is equal to 180 degree. That means x is equal to 30 degree. So the required angle is 30 degree. We can check the options also. Let's say 30 degree is the angle suppose, then its supplement will be 150 degree. And 150 is, uh, 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 you can say 30 is one fifth of 150 degree. Right. Similarly, you could have checked the other options as well. Now, let's look at question. Now, let's take up the next question. Question number 7 is already given that AB is parallel to CD. Angle BA is equal to 45 degree. Angle CED is X degree and angle DC is 50 degree. All this information is given in the question. Now, because we have AB parallel to CD from alternate angle from alternate angle, we can see that angle BAD is equal to angle ADC, right? Now, angle BAD is already 45 degrees. So, that means angle ADC must also be equal to 45 degree. Now, we already have angle DCE is equal to 50 degree. So, let's do one thing. Let's consider triangle CED. In that triangle, sum of all the three angles should be 180 degrees. So let's write those angles. It will be angle DEC plus angle ECD plus angle CDE. Right? Now angle DEC or CED is given X degrees plus angle ECD, angle ECD or DC that is given 50 degree and angle CDE. Now, see, CDE is same as CDA. CDE is same as CDA, hence it is plus 45 degree. Right? Now, sum of all these three angles should be equal to 180 degree. Okay? So, from here, you can calculate that X is equal to 180 degree minus 50 plus 45 is 95 degree. So, it is X equal to 85 degree. That is the answer. All right? This is the question. Now, question number eight. 
it says the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. So 2 is to 3 is to 4 is the ratio of angles. So let's assume that the angles are 2x, 3x and 4x. Now their sum that is 2x plus 3x plus 4x should be equal to 180 degree. So that means 9x is equal to 180 degree. So this gives us x equal to 20 degree. Now the question is asking the greatest angle. Okay. So the greatest angle is equal to as you can see from the value themselves it is 4x. So it is 4 into 20 that is 80 degree. All right. Now let's see the next situation. In an equilateral triangle ABC, now there are certain property that we have done for equilateral triangle. If I say ABC is an equilateral triangle, AD is perpendicular to BC. The question says AD is perpendicular to BC. This is the sign of perpendicular. That means this is AD. That means AD is the height, right? So if I take the sides as A, if all the sides are A, then length of AD, that is the height, it will be equal to A root 3 by 2. This we have already seen. Alright. Okay. So that means if I take AD square, so I get AD square will be equal to A root 3 by 2 whole square. So it is 3A square by 4. So that means 4AD square is equal to 3 small a square. Now small a can be replaced by any side. Let's say, let's replace it by AD. So we will have 4AD square equal to 3AB square. Check the option. Yes, the third option is 3AB square equal to 4AD square. So that's the relation between the side and the perpendicular. But you need to remember this formula that was height is equal to side into root 3 divided by 2. So this is option C. This is option C that we have. That is the correct answer. Okay. Now the next question, question number 10. It says in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, it says angle A is equal to 50 degree, angle C is equal to 70 degree, uh, sorry, angle B is 70 degree, angle B is equal to 70 degree, angle C is equal to 60 degree and in triangle DEF, it is given that angle D is equal to 60 degree, angle E is equal to 70 degree. And angle F is equal to 50 degrees. So let's look at the order. Try to place them in the same order. We have angle A equal to angle F. Angle B equal to angle. Angle B is 70 degree and angle E is 70 degree. So angle B is equal to angle E. And angle C is equal to. So this A and F are 50 degrees. B and E are 70 degrees. And C is equal to angle D that is 60 degree. So that means triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle FED. So that should be the order of vertices. This question is primarily related to the order of vertices. So it has to be triangle FED. That is option D is the correct answer. D option is the correct answer. Okay. Now let's take up next question. Question number 11. The ratio of the corresponding sides of two similar triangles is 1 is to 3. The ratio of their corresponding heights. Now we have done for similar triangles, similar triangles, there is a rule which very clearly mentions that side ratio is equal to corresponding height ratio. H-E-I-G-H-T, height ratio. All right. So if we have the side ratio as 1 is to 3, so it must be equal to the height ratio as well. Okay, so the corresponding height ratio is same that is 1 is to 3. Right, don't make any mistake, we are talking about the height of one triangle is to the height of other triangle. So it will remain same as side of one triangle is to the side of other triangle so it has to be same one is to three all right now question number 12 if 
the medians of a triangle are equal, then the sides must be equal. There is no other possibility. So, if medians are equal, then the triangles also have to be equal. If the medians are equal, then the sides must be equal. Okay. So, if all the medians are equal, that means all the sides must be equal. And if all the sides are equal, that means the triangle has to be equilateral triangle. So, the answer will be equilateral triangle. The answer of the question should be that second option. Now, the next question, question number 13 is a pure theoretical definition of a median. A median of a triangle divides the opposite side into two equal parts. So, the answer is straight away is B option that is bisects, bisects a side. Okay. Now, let's take 14th question. The ratio of length of a side of an equilateral triangle to its height. We already know that for an equilateral triangle, in the, one of the previous questions also we just did, for an equilateral triangle, height is equal to root 3 by 2 times the side. This is the formula that we have. So, the question is asking the ratio of side is to height. So, we take 2 and root 3 on one side and A and H on the other side. So, the required ratio of A is to H is equal to 2 is to root 3. This is the ratio of side and height. A is the side of the triangle. H is the height of the triangle. Alright. So, the ratio, required ratio is root 3 is to, uh, 2 is to root 3. Okay. Now, 15th question, question number 15, it says, sum of the base angles of a triangle is 140 degree and the difference is 40 degree. Let's assume that the triangle is ABC, alright. So, let's say the angle B and C, their sum is 150 degree, uh, 140 degree, sorry, and the difference B minus C is 40 degree. So, simplify this to get the values of B and C. If you solve, if you add, C and C get cancelled, 2B equal to 180 degree. That means B equal to 90 degree. So, if B is 90 degree, put in any one of the equation to get C equal to 50 degree. Now, two angles are already 90 and 50, the sum of which is 140. So, the third angle will straight away will be 180 degree minus 140 degree and that is 40 degree. So, that means the angles of the triangle are 40 degree, 50 degree, and 90 degree. Whichever order you want to put it, you can put it. So, the answer is option A. Okay. Now, question number 16. This is a very simple direct question. Let's see. The question says, in question number 16, we have triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Now, according to the fundamental definition of similar triangle, the ratio of sides must be equal. Alright. Now, ratio of sides taken in the order. So, let's see. Here the order is A, then B, then C. Here the order is D, E, F. Then, the ratio of sides should be written as A, B upon D, E. Should be equal to B, C upon E, F. Should be equal to A, C upon D, F. This must be the order. Now, here it is given that A, B is equal to 2 D, E and B, C is equal to 8. And then question is find EF. So, from this ratio and from this ratio, we can calculate like this. In place of AB, we write 2DE divide by DE is equal to, in place of BC, we write 8 divide by EF. Now, DE and DE cancel. 2 cancel 8 4 times. So, from here, we get EF equal to 4 centimeters. Alright. This is how we can solve this question. Now, let's take up question number 17. It says, in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, angle A is equal to angle E, which is equal to 40 degree. And it says, AB upon ED is equal to AC upon EF. Now, you see, angle A is the angle between AB and AC, and angle E is the angle between ED and EF. So, from the property of SAS, from the SAS property, triangle ABC must be similar to triangle DEF. 
and in that case we have angle A equal to angle E that is already given that means in that order then we must write this triangle DEF in place of DEF we should write I will cut it purposefully and mention triangle E we have taken the order as AB and ED so triangle ABC to EDF that should be the order alright so A is equal to E angle B should be equal to angle D angle C should be equal to angle F now angle A and E are already 40 degree given angle F is also given 65 degree alright now sum of two angles will be 40 plus 65 that is 105 so the third angle will be 180 degree minus 40 and 65 that is 105 degree which is 75 degree alright so that means angle B that is 75 degrees okay now let's see question number 18. In which of the following is the length of diagonals equal? Now if you look at the options, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezium, rectangle. Rectangle is the only one in which diagonals are equal, that is D. Rectangles or squares also, but squares are not there in the options. So rectangles have equal diagonals. Right? Parallelograms, parallelograms do not have equal diagonals. Okay. Rhombus have perpendicular diagonals. Trapezium, there is no property of diagonals. Right. So, in question number 18, the answer is rectangles. Question number 19. The bisector of any two adjacent angles of a parallelogram intersect at, let's see, it must be 90 degree. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll explain it to you. Let's say in a parallelogram A, B, C, D. Let's say angle A is X, angle B is Y. Suppose we draw the bisector of A, so this part of the angle will become X by 2. Similarly, we draw the bisector of angle B, so this part will become Y by 2. Okay, so we have to find this angle Z. Now let's take one by one. From parallelogram property, parallelogram property, we know that the sum of adjacent angles should be equal to 180 degree. That means x plus y should be equal to 180. Alright? This means x by 2 plus y by 2 would be equal to x plus y by 2 that is 180 degree by 2 which is 90 degree. Right? Now if you look at, let's say this point is P, look at triangle A, B, P. In the triangle ABP, x by 2 plus y by 2 plus the angle z should be equal to 180 degree. We already have calculated x by 2 plus y by 2 that is 90 degree. So, 90 degree plus z equal to 180 degree. So, the required angle z is equal to 90 degree. Okay. And this is the angle between the bisectors of any two adjacent angles. Alright, so the answer is 90 degree that is option D. Now the next question is related to quadrilateral. Three angles of a quadrilateral are of 80 degree, 95 degree and 120 degree. So I will write 80 degree plus 95 degree plus 120 degree plus x degree. Suppose x degree is the fourth angle. The total sum of all four angles in a quadrilateral has to be 360 degree. Now 80 plus 95 plus 120, if you add, you will get 295 degree plus x degree equal to 360 degree. So the required fourth angle is equal to 360 degree minus 295 degree. Right? So the answer is 65 degree. This is the fourth angle. 